This is the example video for the trace determinant plane. For number one, we want to classify and sketch the solution for y prime equals the matrix 8, 20, negative 4, negative 8 times y. So instead of finding the eigenvalues, we can just look at the trace and determinant of this matrix to determine the nature of the solution. So the trace is going to be 8 minus 8, which is 0. And our determinant is going to be 8 times negative 8, so negative 64 um, minus negative 4 times 20. And that's going to give us a determinant of 16. So I gave a little sketch of the trace determinant plane. Um, since our trace is 0, we're along the d-axis. And our determinant is 16, so we're way up here along this axis. Anything along this axis is a center. So now we just need to determine the direction of motion of the center. We do that by multiplying y equals 1, 0 with our matrix. So it's going to be 8, 20, negative 4, negative 8 times 1, 0. And that's just going to be the first column of the matrix, 8, negative 4. Um, since this has a negative y component, that means it's going to point down. So our centers are going to rotate um, clockwise. So here's a sketch of them. And we have them rotating clockwise. Um, and now for number two, we want to just classify this solution. Oh, and uh, maybe I should write center classification for this one. So for number two, we want to classify this the solution to y prime equals negative 16, 9, negative 18, 11 times y. So we can just look at the trace and determinant. The trace is going to be negative 16 plus 11, so negative 5. And the determinant is going to be negative 16 times 11. And uh, that's going to be subtracted by negative 18 times 9. So that'll, that'll give us a determinant of negative 14. So since our determinant is negative um, and our trace is negative, we're somewhere here. And this is clearly a saddle. So for number three, we want to classify y prime equals 2, negative 4, 8, negative 6. And again, we just look at the trace. Trace is 2 minus 6, so negative 4. And our determinant is 2 times negative 6 minus negative 4 times 8. That's going to be positive uh, 16. I'm sorry, positive 20. So... Since our trace is negative, we're going to move negative along the trace axis, positive along the um, d axis. So we're somewhere here, but we just want to make sure this, um, whether it's a spiral sink or a uh, nodal sink. So we got to check out what the value of t squared minus 4d is. Um, and that's going to be negative 4 squared minus 4 times 20. And that's 16 minus 80, which is negative 64. So since t squared minus 4d is less than or less than zero, that means we're above the parabola. So we're definitely um, a, oh, we definitely have a spiral sink. <laughs> 